National Smile Month's product per day with Growing Smiles. Today we're going to have a look at a Biowin toothpaste. Now, as you can see, it is described as armour for teeth. Okay, so we're going to do the who, what, where, when and why thing as we have been doing uh, over the last wee while. So who's likely to, to benefit from Biowin toothpaste? Well, because it mimics the way saliva actually remineralizes the tooth surface after an acid or a sugar attack, um, Biomin remineralizes the tooth surface um, and it's beneficial then for anybody that suffers from sensitivity, uh, is at risk of acid erosion, any sort of uh, enamel protection. So again, it may well help with preventing tooth decay and cavities. So um, when would you actually find that? So somebody has recession, you would find that you've got maybe a sensitivity relating to recession. If you've got a dry mouth problem, again, you need to up the amount of protection that you have in your mouth. Um, likewise, toothbrush abrasion, you might be finding that you've been scrubbing your teeth and the necks of your teeth have got sensitive and sore. And this is suitable for all those individuals. It can be used by adults and children. Um, and it, it delivers a continuous protection of calcium phosphate and fluoride over a 12 hour period. So it delivers a very low level of fluoride for eight times longer than traditional fluoride toothpaste. Now it was developed uh, in the UK by scientists at Queen Mary's University and Imperial College London. Um, what they did was they, they looked at bioactive glass materials and how they actually can harden the tooth surface and um, increase protection. So anybody that's familiar with Sensodyne Repair and Protect, they use Novamin and Novamin is a bioactive glass. Um, what they use in um, uh, Biomin is uh, uh, phosphos uh, fluoride phosphosilica and that helps to harden the surfaces and helps protect them. Um, because of the way it, it actually is active, it uses a lower level of fluoride. So there's less than 600 parts per million of fluoride in a toothpaste. So normally people would be recommended something over 1350. But because of the mechanism and how this bioactive glass works with the fluoride, remineralizing tooth surfaces, they can use a much lower level of fluoride. So it releases this fluoride calcium phosphate, which combined to then mineralize the tooth surface by forming fluorapatite. Now if you any dental professionals will know that what you're always aiming for is to develop a fluorapatite surface because it's harder and more resistant to acid and sugar attacks. Um, so how that works is the glass particles stick to the tooth surface the same way as a glass iron on a cement which is often used in restorative and filling materials within dentistry. Um, so uh, how, where do you actually use it? Well you use um, about a centimetre blob of toothpaste on your toothbrush, you, you brush all surfaces for two minutes. What they ask you to do then is swirl the foamy bit of the toothpaste around your mouth for a thir further 30 seconds, then spit out the excess. Really, really important with this toothpaste, now we say it all the time, but really important to spit out, but do not rinse because that will impact on the effectiveness of the biome. They also recommend that you don't drink or eat anything acidic for 30 minutes after this toothbrushing episode. So when do you use it? Um, last thing at night before you go to bed and in the morning morning and because the potential is that you're at risk of acid erosion use it before you eat rather than after you eat breakfast use a soft to medium toothbrush we tend at growing smiles to recommend more on the soft side because there's such an increase in um, wear from scrubbing with a, a medium or hard toothbrush um, and why would you want to use this well 40 percent of the population actually suffer from sensitivity um, we're all living longer we're all retaining more of our teeth um, and that then creates greater challenges for for us going forward as we age. So we're more likely to have recession, we're more likely to have uh, problems with dry mouth and the related uh, increased risk of tooth decay and gum disease with that. Um, so our diets are also um, very high, um, frequent, uh, high, often we now eat a lot of acidic and sugary food frequently. So it's not not just the weed at meal times we eat a lot a lot more frequently and that in itself then means that we need to increase the effort that we put into our teeth to try and protect them. So um Overall then, it's a unique continuous delivery of a low level fluoride for up to 12 hours. Um, it you, reduces the amount of fluoride, but it has an optimised protection element with it. Um, it can be used to reduce sensitivity when you use regular, any sensitive toothpaste, you need to use it regularly. Stop using it, your sensitivity is likely to come back again. And it strengthens and protects tooth enamel. Other things worth noting, there is sodium sulfate in this toothpaste. So if you're sensitive to SLS, 
you might need to think again about this. There is a variation that does not have fluoride in it. We don't keep it in Growing Smiles, but it is available. So what you want to do is remember brushing at least twice a day, last thing at night one other time in the day thoroughly. So um, the Biomin may reduce and reinforce and protect your teeth. That leaves your teeth healthy and fresh. Um, and as I say, it's a fairly unique formulation developed in the UK. So uh, very popular, very effective. So there you go. That's your National Smile Month product per day with Growing Smiles.